Hello everybody and welcome to the EPRL Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 7 Race 24 here from Texas. After this race we will have one race at Daytona to determine the champion and uh, just after the uh, Road America race Dylan Young is your point leader. Remember he got in via wild card and he is now a championship contender, much like last season with Jeffrey Fingy and Julie Stewart. Second in points is Pichu London. He is one point out of it. Third is Jack Richards. He is only four points behind. Jeffrey Fingy is tied for third. He's just four points out. Julie Stewart is also tied for third. Uh, Mitch Speed is sixth in points, six behind. Aaron Williams is seven, eight behind. Carter Kozlowski is eighth. He's ten points out. So... First through eighth are within one race. And Connor Breton is ninth. He is 17 out. Ryan Acosta is 10th in points, 18 behind. Kurt Kozlowski is 11th with 22 out. And David Rochester, 12th in points, 23 points out of the lead in this championship hunt. On the pole is the number 17 of Jordan Bulkin, his third pole of the year, more than anybody. And alongside him is Sean Henley. Row two is the 39 of Jacob Stump. He won at Pocono a few races ago. And Matthew Rodriguez. And rounding out your top five is a championship contender, Jeffrey Fingy. Um, also, other chasers, uh, Carter Kozlowski. Oh, wait, no. There, oh, yeah, Kurt Kozlowski, David Rochester, Carter Kozlowski, Dylan Young. Uh, <coughs> uh, let's see. Can't really see further back, but you can see where your favorite driver starts. And uh, after this race, it'll just be one to go. But for now, we got two races before this chase starts. Let's uh, get the cars rolling off for you. 34 laps at Texas. The command has already been given. And here we go. Uh oh. Whoa, Jordan Vulcan. His car didn't fire up, so he just backed up and nearly cost. Uh, somebody to even get onto the track. There was some damage sustained to the 39 of Jacob Stump. Wow. Before the race even starts, we already have some drama. Okay. So now the pole sitter is gonna be Jacob Stump, and look who bring and look who's up to third because of that. Jeffrey Fingy. Jeffrey is trying to win two championships in a row. Uh, starting third instead of fifth is, um, I guess, a good thing for him. Look through the field quick, find a chaser that you want to watch for today, or just find a driver you want to watch for today. There's Connor Breed and Julie Stewart, Aaron Williams, Mitch Speed. A lot of the chasers, along with Ryan Acosta, Jack Richards, a lot of these chasers start deep in the field for this event. Looks like Jordan Vulcan is going to get back on track, and he's not going to get the pull uh, back from how he was originally going to start on the pole. Green flag comes out here at Texas. We are underway. In the practice races, Kyle Smith was the man to beat. Right now he is running in the fifth spot. And they come out of turn two for the first time. Summers now looks into the bottom looking for second from Jeffrey Fingy. Whoa, Fingy was about to hit the door right on Chris Summers. But Summers was already there. Carter Kozlowski pushing his friend Kyle Smith nearly wrecked him. And at the line, Stump is going to lead lap one. But now Summers goes to the front. Of the head of the Kyle Smith coming up the inside with Carter Kozlowski and Sean Galligan. Smith is going to look for the lead. This is one of the only times he's raced this specific monster pace. Four. And as they come out of turn number four through the quad oval, Galligan looking to the bottom, and he's going to lead this lap from, uh, from Kyle Smith. And further back, Paul Fralick was off in the grass. He's back in the 40 go boost car, and up in front of Julie Stewart. Dylan Young, the point leader, is in it. The point leader, Dylan Young, gets wrecked in turn one along with another chaser, Julie Stewart. And more trouble, Pichu London, second in points, is wrecked. Jack Richards, third in points, has damage. The top five in points will 
with the exception of Jeffrey Finke, all just got involved in the first wreck of the race. Justin Muse wins it back, but we got Julie Stewart, Randy Carpenter, Zach Buchanan, Pichu London is done, Dylan Young is done, Cole Fralick is out of it, Luke Martin is out, Jack Richards with a ton of damage, all the point leaders have been wrecked. Let's get a replay of what just happened to completely change the championship picture. All right, here it is. If my voice is dying out there, it's because I'm losing my voice. I'm just drinking water a lot between replays and stuff. But here it is. Cole Fralick got sent to the apron in the quad oval. Comes up in front of Julie Stewart and Dylan Young. Look who was just in front of that. That's David Rochester. And this is what he needed. He needed all the championship contenders to get taken out. And uh, also Kurt Kozlowski needed that. And Dylan Young and Julie Stewart, two of the favorites to win the championship, are wrecked here in turns one and two. But then look what happens on the exit of the turn. Another championship contender, and Luke Martin, the Daytona 500 winner, flips. <coughs> this wreck had already been in process. Uh, I, think, I think Jack Richards was the first one around, and he was. Garrett Jones with a good save. And, oh... A hard hit into the outside wall, and Luke Martin flips. Then Pichu London gets sent along with Drew Austin. Randy Carpenter gets collected. Matthew McMurray just barely sneaks through that. But Dylan Young, the point leader, is wrecked. Pichu London, a championship contender, second in points, is wrecked. Jack Richards has a ton of damage. He's third in points. Fingy got through it. Julie Stewart is wrecked. So of the top five in points, just one of them got away with um, no damage. <laughs> Man, that is, that's incredible. That is what these two drivers needed. They're battling for position. David Rochester and Kurt Kozlowski, they were realistically done heading into this race. They, I mean, you can make up 14 races each race if you win, and the best chaser, like the point leader, finishes last of the chasers, uh, finishes last, you know, and gets only one point. Uh, they can only make up 28 points in these last two, and they're 22 and 23 out. They could maybe make up that ground and go for a championship heading off to Daytona. We might just have all 12 contenders looking for the championship going off to the finale. That's the cool part about this chase. And uh, yeah, this has just been an incredible start to the event. And uh, let's get you back to the restart. It is Justin Muse out front. All right, we are back. Going to get you back to the restart on lap number eight of 34. Justin Muse is the leader. Carter Kozlowski is second. Jeffrey Fingy is third. Chris Summers fourth. And Sean Galligan fifth. So two chasers, Jeffrey Fingy and Carter Kozlowski right now uh, running inside the top five. Then Kyle Smith, Jacob Stumpf, Sean Henley, uh, Charles Jackson, Matthew Rodriguez, and Jordan Napolito. Wait. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I miss. Um, said that. Oh, okay, so Jack Richards is still in this race. Julie Stewart is not. And uh, all the other chasers. I, I thought Julie Stewart was going to be able to continue, and maybe Jack Richards wasn't, but apparently that was flip flopped. And uh, wow, this championship picture is basically flipped upside down right now. If Carter Kozlowski could win this race, or Jeffrey Fingy. One of those two could easily leave this race as the point leader as we are back green here at Texas. Justin Muse leads him to the restart. Here comes Carter Kozlowski immediately looking for the lead off of the restart. To the bottom, Chris Summers is going to follow with them on the inside of the track. Jeffrey Fingy goes up the racetrack and now he's going to be under attack from Sean Gallagher. Kozlowski leads him into turn three. Chris Summers trying to take it away from him. Sean Galligan is coming in there as well. I think Summers is actually going to just barely get it at the line. Summers is going to lead the lap three wide for the lead in turn one. Carter Kozlowski battling with some of his good friends. Chris Summers, Sean Galligan, Kyle Smith, Sean Henley. Three wide behind. Carter stuck on the outside. He's still getting the most chase points. Never mind. Here comes Jeffrey Fingy. Fingy is looking for 12 chase points and the point lead. Kyle Smith is going to go to the point. In the meantime, he is out front. We already mentioned it. Kyle was the best, uh, the best car in the practice race. And uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, that was getting really dicey back here. Three to four wide. Bunch of chasers are in this four wide down the straightaway. That's not going to work. 
Kurt and Carter Kozlowski are shuffled with us. Ryan Acosta is just behind it. He's a chaser. They're still four wide. Now they settle down to three, and they somehow make it out of turn four. And in the meantime, Jeffrey Findy has gone to the point. Oh, they're still going to be four wide, packing it into the turn. Galligan is going to have to give. Kozlowski and Apolito make some contact. If they wreck right here, there's a lot of chasers that could get swept up. Speed and Sam Young, that's not gonna work. Whoa, it is. Oh, Kurt Kozlowski sideways. He's in the wall. Vingy just behind. That was almost really bad. Mews back up the track. They're still stacking up. Charles Jackson trying to get out of the way. And he's gonna, but there might be something wrong with the 27. That looks a lot like Freilich. Just get out of the way, please. And Kurt Kozlowski, Jeffrey Fingy getting shuffled way to the back of the field. And in the meantime, look at Mitch Speed. Speed is going to take the lead away. Mitch Speed has scored uh, the most chase points, tied with Dylan Young, but Dylan Young had bonus points going into the chase, which means he's the point leader entering this event. But right now, Speed, I believe, would be the new point leader. But here comes Carter Kozlowski. He had a championship taken away from him in season five, and he's going to try to win one here in season seven. Here he comes on the inside of Connor Breton, another one of the chasers. Chasers uh, are in the front three spots. Courtney Simpson, a driver that if she made the chase, she'd probably be one of the point leaders right now. She's been performing great since Auto Club. That I believe fourth place finish. And now she's going to battle with her little brother, Carter Kozlowski. Looks like she's going to give him a break, and Carter's going to stay out front. Oh, Simpson tried to cut off David Rochester, but he was already there. Here comes the 31 along with Jordan Apolito. In the quad oval, Carter Kozlowski's going to lead the lap, but David Rochester's going to take it off into turn one. My question is, is there any uh, damaged cars that these guys are going to run up on? Yeah, Drew Austin and Jack Richards. If you don't get, catch a caution here within the next lap or two, they are easily going to uh, catch them. They're not so easily going to be here. Whoa, that was nearly a caution there. Sam Young got loose. He went to the apron and nearly caused a big stack up. And Drew Austin just entering turn one. We're going to catch him, I believe, this time around. Dunham is now looking for the point. At his home racetrack, Trent Dunham looking for the lead on the back straightaway. Eddie Jones has come out of thin air. He's battling for the lead here uh, about halfway through this event. All right, I know I said this last time. We're going to catch him this lap. But this time, I can guarantee you, we are going to catch these lapped cars this time around. Eddie Jones now goes to the point in turn one. Ryan Acosta is closing. He's going to make a move on the bottom. Connor Breton is there as well as now. We are going to catch the lapped cars of Drew Austin and Jack Richards. Eddie Jones is going to get held up, and two chasers get clear. Connor Breton and Ryan Acosta, two of the struggling chasers. Jack Richards. Looks like he's going to hold up Ryan Acosta on the outside. Trent Dunham is going to come up the bottom. He goes to second. Connor Breton leads him at Texas. Not over until it's over, and Breton is proving that right now. He's 17 points out. He needs to win, or uh, at least be one of the top-running chasers to stay in contention. He's going to do just that here in Texas, if that it looks like. Carter Kozlowski right now would get 11 chase points. His speed would get 10. Whoa. Seth Cole, Trent Dunham, and an FCRA teammate, and good friends battling for the lead as the caution is out for the second time. And are there any chasers in it? Garrett Jones, Matthew McMurray, Charles Jackson, Jordan Balkin. 
by the looks of it. Oh, wait, Jeffrey Finke may have gotten in it. I just saw a Hendrick Karzakon that was Deion Scott. Uh, looks like, for the most part, there were no chasers in it. The question is, did... Um, who was that? Finke. Did Finke get any damage in this? Because he does look a little bit off the pace. No damage on the 42, though, so... Uh, let's get a replay of what happened here to bring up the second caution on that turn. All right, well, this battle is getting way too tight, and there they all went. John Dillon gets turned by Apolito into Eddie Jones and hard into the outside while those two go. Aaron Williams, a chaser, just squeaks through that. Aaron, seventh in points, so he's, uh, he's lucky he got through that because he can't really afford a bad race anymore. Yeah, Fingy got in it. Jeffrey Fingy, a chaser, a, a favorite to win this championship, gets involved in this wreck. Ooh, Brandon Bain spins back up, and Henley is in it. Kurt Kozlowski, did he get damage? I think he did. There's no way he could have gotten through that with nothing. Kyle Smith gets collected in a race he thought he could possibly win. And Kurt Kozlowski avoided that. Go on board with the Stakeums check. Watch this. If he somehow wins this championship, which is going to be really difficult, but he's going to look back at this and think to himself that that is what saved him. How did he... Oh, oh, he did make some contact. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way he could have made that sharp of a turn and not spin. But yeah, he did get some very slight damage, but nothing, in, nothing uh, ridiculous. All right, but... So, ooh, Eddie Jones, that's where that part all came about. Uh, Dion Scott, Henley, Schwartz, Stone. Galligan, flying through that wreck. Yeah, Chaser Jeffrey Finke gets some damage in this most recent caution. Kurt Kozlowski gets some very slight damage in this. So uh, it looks like it's time to get you back to the restart. It is Trent Dunham trying to win his first race at his home racetrack. All right, we're just about half a lap away from going back racing. When we restart, it'll be 10 laps to go. It is Trent Dunham out front. Seth Cole second. Connor Breton third. Uh, Courtney Simpson fourth. And Sam Young fifth. Carter Kozlowski sixth. And Mitch Speed seventh. Dave Rochester eighth. Ninth is Aaron Williams. And tenth is Ryan Acosta. So look at that. Acosta. Uh, so two, three, four, five, six. Six chasers in the top ten. And, uh, oh, by the way, Jack Richards is there, too. Here we go. In the quad oval, green flag back out. We're racing once again here at Texas. Connor Breeden looking for second right off of this restart, trying to get underneath Seth Cole and make the pass. And he's going to do it. New second-place driver. His name is Connor Breeden. That doesn't get him any more chase points, but if he can win this race, that'd get him a lot more than what he would originally get. I'm saying a lot because it is a lot of points to get three bonus points. I mean, that's a quarter of a race. That's basically getting 10 bonus points on the regular system. That's just how this chase works. It's so important to get every single position you can. And uh, here comes Courtney Simpson. Simpson is trying to take the lead away. Carter Kozlowski and Mitch Speed, three chasers, four chasers in the top five. All right, now they're second through fifth. How, ir how ironic is that? The first three chase races have been swept by non-chasers. Can Courtney Simpson continue that trend, or will one of the chasers win this race? Mitch Speed looks to be the one to do it. David Rochester, if there's a wreck right here, it's going to take out all the chasers. Will Sam Young... He went up the racetrack and nearly wrecked. Man, this is not good. Simpson and Rochester up the racetrack. Here comes Carter Kozlowski on the inside. I might have a sneeze. Coming. It's there, but it, okay, it's it's gone. <laughs> Justin Muse, in the meantime, has looked for the lead, and he has successfully taken it. Look at Aaron Williams in the 88 card. He's a rookie, and he's trying to win the championship in his rookie season. Connor Breton, in his career comeback, makes the chase. He's trying to win this race. Six laps of racing to go here at Texas. A lot of these drivers cannot afford to have a bad run. Mitch Speed is sideways. That was close. 
my voice dies out here in these last few laps. I do apologize. Whoa, Simpson was coming on the bottom with her brother Carter Kozlowski, and that was nearly a big stack up. Justin Hughes continues to lead, but a big battle between the chasers. Ryan Acosta, Carter Kozlowski. Here comes Sam Young making it four wide. Trent Dunham is there as well, trying to win at his home race track. It's still Justin Mews out front, Seth Cole sitting in second as they come around. It'll be four laps of racing to go here at Texas. Running third is Tyler Williams, fourth is Connor Breen. He would get 12 chase points right now. Remember, he is 17 out. He needs to finish among the front two or three of the chasers to stay in contention. And now Eddie Jones, a lapped car. They have just randomly caught him. And now he's gonna hold up Justin Muse. And that, that's going to allow, somehow, Tyler Williams to go to the point with three to go. And back here, it looks like a lot of these chasers are going to get some pretty bad runs, including Jack Richards and Jeffrey Findy. Tyler Williams is still out front, but Seth Cole and Connor Breton are desperately sitting there. They want to make their move. Here comes Seth Cole looking to the bottom. Connor Breton is trying to get underneath Seth. Seth Cole is going to lead the field with two laps of racing to go. Courtney Simpson is lurking behind this battle. She knows she still has a shot at winning this race. Here comes Connor Breton, a chaser, looking for the lead. Simpson passes Tyler Williams for third. Side by side for the lead as they come around to take the white flag. Breton is going to go to the lead in three and four. He's a chaser, but here comes Courtney Simpson in the ten. Courtney Simpson side by side with Connor Breton. Last lap here at Texas. Simpson side by side with Connor Breton. Now Simpson is going to go to the lead. She hasn't won a race since season three. It's been over 80 races since Simpson has last visited Victory Lane. The longest winless streak of anybody. But as she comes out of turn number four, she's finally going to go back to Victory Lane. Courtney Simpson is going to win here at Texas. A last lap pass in turn one is going to get Courtney Simpson into victory lane. And uh, that was kind of a fail at the end. I, I meant to uh, have a fly by the back and I made it to Tyler Rubin. Wow, what a crazy finish. I mean, she was there and uh, making up a lot of positions with, with two to go. I think she was actually running fourth. And she was able to rally and win this race. Here are your finishing results. Courtney Simpson, a non-chaser but she is 14th in points. Uh, she wants that 13th spot, but it's gonna be really difficult because Chris Summers is way ahead. And Summers finishes 15th, but uh, Simpson wins this race. And like we said, if she would have made the chase, I think she'd be a two-time champion because uh, she has performed great since Auto Club. Sam Young finishes second, Connor Bree. All right, um, let's do the finishing results and then I'll calculate this out for you. And uh, get you the uh, standings going off to Daytona. So Connor Breton is going to get 12 chase points. Uh, Tyler Williams finishes fourth and Seth Cole is fifth. Justin Mew sixth. Jordan Apolito seventh. Ryan Acosta is going to get 11 chase points. That could help him out. Remember, he is 18 out. That could save his season. Trent Dunham in his home track finishes ninth. And Aaron Williams finishes in the tenth spot. Carter Kozlowski and Mitch Speed were right there trying to get some chase points. David Rochester is going to be mathematically out uh, heading off to Daytona by the looks of it. So we're going to quick calculate this out for you and uh, let you know who's still in contention as uh, this race here Texas has concluded. And uh, we're going to go off to Daytona. But, uh, oh, wait, here's here's the rest. All right, Randy Carpenter. Oh, Pichu London is only going to get one chase point. He entered this race second in points. Dylan Young is just going to get two chase points. All right, well, this thing is going to completely flip upside down. So let's calculate this out for you, and then we will let you know who's still in contention going to the finale. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the craziest uh, chase battle we are ever going to see, in my opinion, in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. We've got 10 drivers still with a shot at Daytona. And, uh, oh, by the way, we have a four 
yeah, we have a four-way tie for the point lead as we head off to uh, Daytona International Speedway. All right, here are the drivers that are all tied for the point lead with 2,034 points. Dylan Young, Jeffrey Fingy, Mitch Speed, and Aaron Williams are all tied for the point lead. Tied for second with 2,032 points, just two points out of this thing. Pichu London, Jack Richards, and uh, that's it. Tied for third, they are only three points out. 2,031 points, Julie Stewart and Carter Kozlowski. Fourth in points is Jeffrey Finn, er, sorry, Connor Breton is fourth in points. He has 2,027 points, he's only seven out. And just nine points out, Ryan Acosta sitting fifth. Those are all drivers mathematically still in this. Kurt Kozlowski and David Rochester are mathematically out, but they can still go for a win at Daytona. So all of the drivers at Daytona that have a shot at winning this thing are within nine points. Ten drivers within nine points, a four-way tie for the point lead. <laughs> what more can you ask for? This is going to be the craziest chase finish ever. And, uh, by the way, it's at the Daytona International Speedway, the racetrack where chaos is going to break out at any moment, and uh, anything can and will happen. That's going to be <laughs> an unbelievable race, and um, we it looks like we are probably going to have a co-commentator. Uh, it just kind of depends. So, this is, I think, the earliest race I've ever, like, the earliest I've ever recorded a race. It started at, like, 8. 20? No, it's 8.50. So, yeah. Um, A.M. So, <laughs> usually I record them later. Anyways. Uh, looks like, I mean, I don't even know who, it, I mean, okay, heading off into this event, you would think after this one, the points would stretch out a little bit more, but... This this is funny because okay the the top ten were separated by eighteen points, well over one race. Now the top ten are separated within nine points, or the top ten I should say are within nine points. So that's absolutely incredible. Um, Daytona is going to be I think I think that's going to be the best Bass Pro Shops Cup Series race. Um, like that we've ever had uh, 10 drivers within nine points, a four way tie for the point lead. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the top, what the top eight? Yeah. The top eight are within three points. If you want to look at it that way, the top three are, or the top eight are within three points. Last season, the top eight were within, I think 14. Now it's only, th now it's only what? Three points? That's incredible. Uh, anybody can still win this championship of those top ten. There's not even a realistically done sort of thing with these guys that are still left. Because Daytona, what can you say? That's not going to be a realistic race. Everybody's going to be going everywhere. That's going to be a crazy, crazy, crazy finish. Or a crazy finish to the season. And uh, cannot wait to go off to Daytona Beach and uh, determine the champion. So congratulations to Courtney Simpson. Her third career victory, and it has been a very, very long dry spell for that number 10. Uh, Courtney's last win came at Homestead, which I believe was race 13 back in season 3. And, uh, I'm going to calculate this quick. I'm going to see how many races that's been. So uh, I'm assuming it was like race 13. So that's 12 races to the end of the season. Then season 4, season 5, season 6. And 23 races this season, so 75. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 35 plus 75. It's been 110 races since Courtney Simpson. Wait, 75. Yeah, it's been 110 races since Courtney Simpson has last gone to victory lane. So this is something that we haven't seen in 110 races. That's crazy. So congratulations to the number 10 Go Daddy Chevrolet, Courtney Simpson as she is going to take her third trip to Victory Lane here in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. And we are going to see you for the season finale. Ten drivers, 
20 laps at Daytona to determine the champion. And uh, by the way, the top eight are separated by three points. Congratulations to Courtney Simpson. Here's the celebration screen. And as we head off to Daytona, a four-way tie for the point lead.